Hey guys, how you all are doing? Hope you all are doing good. Um, today's uh, topic is basically a video that I wanted to make from a very long time. Uh, on a serious note, it's a raw uncut video, so probably I'm just going to copy paste the video, just a little bit of minor editing and put it up out there. So I want to speak about relationship and love in general, okay? So here there are three points that I'm going to focus upon. Let's start with this. You be in relationship with a person knowing the fact that you're going to marry the person. Then only enter a relationship. Probably if you're trying to be in a relationship just for fun, then for that fun, you can pick up some hobby, pick up some games, uh, go for trekking, learn some new sports, but you don't play with people's hearts. You don't have fun with people. Okay, that's point number one. Point number two. Now, if religion matters the most to you in a relationship and uh, you're trying to enter a relationship with a person of a different religion, unless and until you're ready, you both, both the sides are ready to make it work out for marriage, then only enter. If religion matters the most, then please don't enter with the, into a relationship with a person belonging to a different religion. It'll lead to a disaster. I'm telling you this, it's like wise words, you'll remember this. <sighs> okay, number three, loyalty, honesty, trustworthiness. These three things, I call them as the rare gems. These are very important, okay? So if you catch or be with a person who, who breaks your loyalty, who's not loyal enough, who, who's not trustworthy enough, who's not honest enough, what would you do? Would you rather be with that person? Would you forgive that person? There's a limit to forgiving that person. But I think loyalty, honesty, and trustworthiness, if they keep breaking it, it's going to be a disaster. So probably don't be with a person in a relationship who's not loyal enough. <laughs> what is the use of giving that person your heart and time and investing on your energy on the person when you know that person is going to go and sleep with somebody else, you know? You know what I mean. Um, point number four. Now, relationships is not a bed of roses. So when you enter a relationship, know the fact that probably it will lead to a marriage. Now there will be ups and downs. But amidst up that ups and downs, you should not give up, both the man and the woman. Because probably if you are the one who is the give up kinds, then imagine being with a person who will always keep giving up on you after marriage. Can you be with, with such kind of a person? No, right? So that's the thing. Don't be with people who give up easily on you, okay? <sighs> There's some more other points that I would like to mention. Yes, beauty, uh, the riches, the money that you hold in your bank account or in your pocket or the designation of a person. Do not get impressed with this. Get impressed with the character and heart of a person. I'm telling you this because beauty, money, uh, the designation, your education, whichever background you come from, that's all going to phase out. Money will increase, decrease over a period of time. But you are going to live with the character and the heart of a person for the rest of your life. So choose that person according to your needs and don't get impressed by beauty. A lot of people see a very handsome looking guy or beautiful looking girl and they, then they fall in love and infatuation and they think that is love and that's stupidity. Okay? Others. Let me talk about fights. So probably you are in a relationship where you are having a lot of fights. There's a lot of frictions happening between you guys because of the previous points that I, that I have spoken about. That person is not honest, the person is not loyal, uh, the person probably is of a different religion and now you're stuck on that and you're thinking, what should we do? Talk about it. Talk about it with that person, okay? Give that person one chance, two chance, ten chances and uh, speak openly with that person. But if you feel that the person is pulling on and you're having fights on a daily basis, then please move out of that relationship. It's going to be vicious, and torturous to be with such kind of a person probably after marriage and you know you will not like to be with such kind of a person having said this there are many other things that comes to my mind but if i make a video about it it will be a very very long video you know please you know with people whom you love don't take their heart for granted listen to them make it work out you know, we all are humans. No one's perfect, okay? So if you have an expectation in your mind that I, I have this perfect image of someone in my mind and that person should come across as this perfect image that I have in my mind, you will never be able to find that man or woman in your life. So I always believe 
Marriage happens bef between two imperfect people. They come together, they get married, they be flexible. You need to be forgiving, you need to be understanding, okay? And most importantly, your faith matters for me. Because <laughs> if it is an intercaste marriage, if both the families are okay with it, it's okay. But probably then, what happens to your faith? What happens to your children? Which religion are they going to follow at the end? Okay, now you'll give me examples and successful stories. Okay, good for them, for the celebrities or any people who have done an intercaste marriage. But I'm talking especially about those people where faith matters to them a lot. Okay, and I hope that people love more, respect more, and find the true ones in your life without keeping any expectations in your mind, without keeping any terms and conditions in your mind. Because if you enter, any relationship or marriage keeping expendi uh, expectations and terms and conditions it's the end of it okay <sighs> now this applies to both men and women okay so i'm not saying specifically to women i'm also saying specifically to men and probably in this age everyone is very smart enough but i also see that everyone is very judgmental so before judging a person before pouncing on the person before assuming many things about the person please talk it out with the person please clarify the things with the person if the person is not ready to clarify things if the person is too coward enough to talk to you if the person is not interested in having a mature conversation with you that person is not for you or probably he's in he or she is in a different kind of a relationship or double dating so please walk out of that person i have seen a lot of stuffs happening in life with my friends i see how love impacts a person Love can make a person, love can break a person, and love can destroy lives. But probably what I said, I hope that uh, it has gone into your minds and it is registered. So signing off, Legendary Kingston. You take care. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.